I played for the Nigerian national team. Right. One of the great honors of my life to put, you know, green and white on my chest and to, you know, represent Nigeria and had a mix of Nigerian girls, girls mm -hmm. who were born and raised in Nigeria, yeah. and then a mix of American Nigerians. So basically, some of the girls were born in the US, but both their parents were from Nigeria. Um, and there were a few of us. And honestly, skill wise, you could tell a difference. There certainly is still a gap between African basketball and like US basketball and even European gap basketball, and there was a gap. So pretty much the American born Nigerians, like usually skill wise, we were just better skill wise. Right, right, so I right. was a point, there weren't many great point guards coming out of the motherland itself, of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I was the team's point guard. Um, many of the Nigerian girls um, coming up were, were good shooters, great defenders, um, you know, strong, physical. African basketball is physical. Right. As fin European basketball, they say, is finesse. Finesse, yeah. American basketball is kind of what you see, but, um, and fast. African basketball is fast. So we worked a lot on like skill work and things like that. But besides our skill sets, for the American Nigerian girls, there were different levels of how Nigerian were you, whatever that means. Mm. But so like, my mother being white, there was a different understanding of our Nigerianness versus an American Nigerian who both her parents were Nigerian. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, they grew up very easily with the exact same cultures and and fest, um, festivities and and celebrations that maybe their parents did when they were in Nigeria. So, so for me, actually being on the team, it was a learning experience too. Mm -hmm. Like. People were so impressed, maybe because I'm fair skinned or a little bit light skinned, although I have a tan right now. Yeah, nice tan. But, <laughs> but like some of the Nigerian born girls would look at me like, what's the word? Akata, yes? Akata, what does that mean? <laughs> like, is it light? Oh, no, 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 that's like white girl, right? Or, or light skin? Yeah. Light skin? Yeah. It's not a compliment, <laughs> but it's not like, it's not They're like. They're trying a, to play you. They, it's, yeah, they were trying to play me low-key, but like in a fun, I felt like it was in, right. a, in a fun yeah, way. Yeah, it was lighthearted. But they would be so impressed because they'd be like, where are you from? And I'd be like, we're Benin tribe. Where? Edo State. Oh, you know where you're from? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, actually I do. Mm -hmm. And, oh, so can you eat? We'd sit down and we'd have like traditional foods prepared for us like after practice. Like we'd legit eat like Eba after practice. Mm -hmm. And like I would take it mush it in my hand properly, like let it then create like a little, you know, you're supposed to create a little indent, get, come in there, get your soup, uh -huh. get your stew and eat like this. And they were so impressed that I didn't pull out a fork and knife yeah, to yeah, eat it. Yeah. I'm like, what did you think I was gonna do? And shout I, out to Pops. <laughs> shout out to my dad for preparing <laughs> me for this moment. 